Okay, so I've got this kitchen here, right? And no, I've not cleaned it up. There's stuff on the counter, whatever. And I love this countertop, this whole, this whole area thing. I love this and the sink and everything. Over here, I've just made a wooden table with some steel post legs, which, you know, is fine. However, I wanna make something like this over here, but a little fancier, maybe with like, okay, the countertop, maybe one level, a high level over here, and then a, a lower level on that side, so people can sit at that side at the lower level and stand at this side at the higher level, and then lots of little shelfy things, kind of like this under the counters, except probably more, more smaller shelves for some reason. Now, I've been making Styrocrete sheets for this. And there are two here. There's a sheet of metal between this one and the one below it. And I've got a bunch of these saved up. So there's a bunch of pieces back here. And some over here. And I, I think I still need a few more pieces. I think I should start putting it together because I'm not 100% sure how it's going to go. So it's going to go right where this table is. And I think I made my kitchen big enough that I can take that table and just move it over here and then carry on with my normal kitchen duties and just use this as a construction zone. Yeah, pretty clean under here. Layer one, looking good. Now if I just mortar that all in, lock it in place, and start on the next layer. All right, what is the order of operations here? Okay, I mix up some mortar. I smear mortar on the bottom of this and on the bottom of that. Then I go over here and take the mortar and mortar each one of these in place while also mortaring all around the edges and everything. Get all those in. Then I take this and put it on there. And then I take this and put it on there. And then I mix up some styrocrete and fill in the gap between those two pieces and then fill in this hole. Right, okay, mortar, Stick everything together, then styrocrete. Got it. All right, I got everything wet. So you don't want to put new cement on dry stuff. And I've got my bucket over here. This, this is two parts sand, one part cement, roughly. You know what? I'm gonna put a bit of this bonding agent in to help it stick to the old stuff. Well, I don't know how much I'm supposed to put, but looks great. Someone's gonna ask about my styrocrete styrocrete formulation. And I'm always changing the ratios of stuff, you know, just playing around. These are roughly eight parts styrofoam bits, one part cement, and then, you know, enough water to make it do what it needs to do. So eight styrofoams to one cement. No sand, and I'm using no sand because I recently adjusted my styrocrete styrofoam chewer to make more small bits that I'm hoping will take up the space that the sand would take. This is my styrofoam chewer. It all just goes into this bucket. So I stick a drill on the end of here and just 
and manually put styrofoam in here. You gotta be real careful not to get too close. And I recently put more little sharp bits on here, like this, to break up the styrofoam into these little tiny bits. And then, you know, the, the screw head ends kind of break off into bigger chunks like, like that, or like, like that and stuff. Okay, I better shut up and get these smeared before this starts hardening on me. It's going pretty well so far. Ran out of my first bucket, although I'm only filling them about a third. One more third should do this. Oh wow, that is some good looking stuff. All right, a little bit more mortar. I should be able to get that guy on there. Touch this over and over and over. Okay, done. Wait. Okay. Okay, quit messing with it. Oh, that is looking beautiful. Now the question is, well, I guess there's a couple questions. Why are some of those sticking out? That'll become clear a few levels up. The other question is, do I smear the top of this with mortar now? Or do I do it when I put the next I think I do it when I put the next layers on, because it'll the next layer will stick better. So yeah, I'll prep the next next layer up, get everything ready to make or ready to stick together, take the pieces off, smear over this, then put the pieces on that'll help them stick. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so good. Oh, clean Jamie. I just had a shower outside in the rain. It's like my favorite kind of shower. And, oh, yeah, those are all full. And now I want to have lunch. And I have stuff to make pizza. But I cook outside on this thing. Hmm. I may, I may need to make a, an indoor cooking option. I guess I'll put that on my list. Not top priority though. Maybe I've just gotten really lucky over the last year, and it's very rare that I can't cook outside. Just right now. All right. Ooh, it sounds like it's slowing down. Oh, I think I can go cook outside. I can go make some pizza. Ooh, it's 1.36 already. That means if I stop to make food now and then eat it, it's going to be like halfway through the afternoon. I'm probably not going to get much else done. All right, let's skip lunch. Maybe put another layer on this thing right now. Or at least cut the pieces for it. Yeah. This is wedged in here from side to side. So tight it doesn't move at all. And I shouldn't have to worry about jostling it and wrecking the connections.
All right, it's 2.36 now. So cutting those up took an hour. I figure cement them in, mortar them in. And it should be dinner time. Oh, that'll be exciting if we get that much done today. Oh, let's do it.